Hey guys, it's me QP83. So I have another board game video here for you. This is Gem and the Holograms themed. I know there's a ton of Gem fans here on the channel. Uh, so I wanted to show you this game. It is one of, I wanna say two games that they released with this franchise. Uh, I don't have the second one. It's like, I always look for it at like Savers or Goodwills and I never seem to find it. And when I do see it online, it's a little expensive. Like every single other Gem item is when you see it online and I never feel like paying that much money for it. So, I have this Gems Truly Outrageous Concert Clash game here to show you. It's really fun. Uh, I don't have a cassette player to play the cassette tape that comes with this, so you'll have to just imagine there's some truly outrageous music going on here. Uh, but let me go ahead. This is the front of the game. I love the graphics for gem that they use on here because it's the graphics they would have used on the boxes which is so very different from the graphics in the cartoon like i love this like sort of like fierce artistic style that the original animation the original drawings and illustrations for the dolls have that's kind of what i'd want on a poster like people always do cartoon gem which is great but this is the art that i really really like so we're going to turn this upside down here and you'll see the back of the box. Uh, it just kind of shows off the board game, or you know, shows off the board. And it tells you that the cassette tape here plays the gem theme, obviously. Um, taking it all out of my way, out of my way, out of my way, do do do. Uh, winning is everything, only the beginning, getting down to business. So those are the songs. And like, I could probably sing all of them for you, but I will save you from that. <laughs> but it has a good selection of songs on the cassette tape. Uh, and they will all kind of correspond with certain things that you'll see in this game. The point of Concert Clash is to collect as many albums as possible. And uh, I, think, I think that's a point, actually. It's to earn points and earn albums. This is the inside of the box. It just shows you how to put the spinner together. We're already greeted with a fluorescent pink board game backing, which is amazing. So let's go ahead, we'll set that up there, and we will show off this board game board. It's a fun board, super, super colorful. Again, I love the graphics they chose because they're the graphics that would have been on the boxes and in the promotional material for the doll line, uh, as opposed to the cartoon. We have the Rock and Roadster here, which is such a classic, classic car. Like, I would love a rock and roadster. So certain times I'll go past cars and like car lots. That would be perfect to just change up and customize into a rock and roadster. And I'm like, one day, one day I'll put thousands and thousands of dollars into a rock and roadster. And then I could bring it to car shows. And I'm not even a car enthusiast. So it's kind of weird, but like I would love a rock and roadster in real life. Uh, we have Rio here, always, you know, he always looked way cooler in the illustrations versus the cartoon. Uh, Zaz, we have the holograms, we have the misfits up here, Jerica, we have Gem, of course we have the big gem here in the center. So as I said, the point of this game is to collect albums. You'll see there's circles here. This says only the beginning, this says getting down to business. And so you're gonna go through the board uh, you'll spin the spinner, it'll say go five spaces, and you'll go your five spaces until you land on an album, and then you get that album. Uh, so let's go ahead, yeah, it's just really, this is also a frameable board. If you think about it, it would look pretty cool on a wall. This is a cassette tape that it comes with. So the whole point of this game is as follows. I'll read it directly from the box. Uh, those nasty misfits are challenging Gem and the Holograms to a battle of the bands. The Holograms are trying to collect all their records and bring them to the battle, but the misfits are blocking them at every turn. The only way to outwit the misfits is for the Holograms to split up and each try to get as many records as possible. Which hologram will make it to the battle of the bands first with all the records that they need? So you're playing as a hologram. The misfits are trying to stop you. You want to get as many records as possible. So after you reach the battle of the band's space and you've collected at least two record tokens, you try to win the game. And the way you do that is by spinning the spinner. You add the numbers, you spin to the number of record tokens you've collected. If the total is 12 or greater, you've won the game. So you kind of have to be strategic in like when you're going to go to the battle of the bands to make sure your score is over 12. 
Uh, and if, of course, you want to have the most points, so you want to get as many as possible before you go to that winner's circle. So they're little black discs and they just say the name of the record on there and they have the lines so you'd see like the ridges or the grooves on a record. So those are the tokens that you're trying to collect throughout the game. We also have the spinner that looks like a record player. And you would just go and you'd spin it. It's not the best spinner. But you would say, oh, it's a four. But it does, it's kind of cool because it looks like a record player. We have the cassette tape, which I showed you. It also comes with tabs that you would put your Gem in the Holograms character on. So you'd be playing as Gem, Aja, Kimber, or Shayna. So you have the four holograms. And we also have the gem cards. Pass pizzazz or send opponent to a record space. Um, what other fun ones are in here? Trade places with people. Trade places. Yeah, so it's a lot of like send an opponent to a record space, trade trade spaces with people or just pass the pizzazz space which is on the board spin again so there you go and they just have pizzazz's face on them the back is kind of fun as well um what else is there to say about this game it is a very simple game much like the skipper one i showed you before there's not a lot to it other than spin the Spin the spinner, move the space, and collect as much as you can. But it is a fun game to have in your collection if you're a Gem in the Holograms collector, um, or if you just like dollar-related board games. Uh, it is two players on ups. You can have up to four players because you're playing as Gem and her holograms. I do hope one day to have the other Gem in the Holograms board game. I'm still hoping I'll find it at Savers or Goodwill or someplace where it'll be super cheap and in great condition. Uh, so keep your fingers crossed for me. But let me know if you have this game, what you think of it, um, if it's something that you're going to be looking for in the future. And let me know what else you're doing during this, you know, stay at home order that we're all under because it can get very boring to staying at home. So if you have enough people in your house, pick up a board game, play a board game, do a puzzle, uh, some fun stuff like that. So let me know what you're doing to stay busy and what you think of this board game, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!